Hi there, this is Chef Felicia, and today we're going to make vanilla cake in a cup in the microwave. Now I've been designing this recipe to use standard spoons. So, tablespoon, teaspoon. It's great, you can make it in the dorm, you don't need special ma materials to make it. Need a oversized mug for this recipe. If you don't have an oversized mug, you can certainly have the recipe and use it in a smaller mug. Great for topping, toppings, other things that you want to put on it. Very easy to put together. So, how do we start? With our mug, I'm going to put in eight rounded tablespoons, about like that, into our mug. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And regular granulated sugar, we're going to put four rounded teaspoons of this in there. So there's one, two, three, and four. I have baking powder, and pull out my teaspoon, and just a little bit, about half of that in there. And with all the dry ingredients in there, just give it a good stir, kind of mix it all up. Alright, so now that we have that going, now we can start with our wet ingredients. Here I have vanilla, just some vanilla extract, I'm going to take my teaspoon, and put that right in there. And then just regular vegetable oil. Canola, vegetable oil, whatever you, you can find. Don't use olive oil. Olive oil just has that flavor. It wouldn't go good with this recipe. We're going to put in three of these in there. So there's one. two, and three. And finally, I just have regular tap water. Put about ten of these in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And then give it all a good stir in. When you're done stirring this up, you should get a nice wet dough. I'll set that down right there. So, nice wet dough. That's going to go in the microwave for minutes, minute to two minutes. So, let's go and take this into the microwave. Alright, here we go. And I already have one in here. Make sure you cover it so you don't get uh, stuff all over your microwave. And that's what it should look like. It ri rises right up. So, all right. So now we have our cake in a cup, and from this point, I have some uh, Morello cherries. I'm clean off my spoon here. The Morello cherry is kind of a a tart cherry. Just gonna put the juice in there. Put those on top. And there we go. Beautiful 
and tasty. Good, good. And there it is. Mmm. Very good. Very quick. Like I said, works great for dorm rooms or anybody just wanting a quick fix. And really easy to do. Hope you enjoy this recipe. Check me out at OurDailySalt.com and I'll put all the details of this recipe on OurDailySalt.com as well. Have a great day. Bye.